All right, fast forward flamingo. We are going to be painting the sand with cream and white. Now I'm gonna add some sea breeze blue along with some bluegrass green and just a hint of true blue to the top so we can make it look like an ocean. Just take your one inch flat brush and blend it back and forth. And we are on a nine by 12 canvas. So you can just go back and forth to just kind of blend it to make it look like those ocean waters in Panama City Beach, which I love so much. And a little bit of yellow green to add some white on top of that to get that blend. Now I'm just using a little bit of white with sea breeze to get the sky color. We want the three sections to be completely different, okay? Using a little bit of dark green, I'm just pretending I have some seagrass over on the side with a liner brush and just adding a little bit of bluegrass green to it. Now, this is my favorite part. I love drawing hibiscus. As you can see, it's just a U shape with an, another U, and then just a couple of dots. And I like to use a darker pink and a lighter cotton candy pink to blend it in and to make all of it just kind of fill in. As soon as I get that done, then I can just add on a little bit of hint of some different pinks, um, just little stripes of pink, and then a little bit of dots on each one. Okay, so adding some white highlights to the hibiscus, we're going to now move to the flamingo. So I have a tracer for the flamingo, and I'm just using a liner brush and some pink paint to trace around the flamingo, everything except for the legs. Now I do this because it's just really simple to get the shape on there right, because freehanding the flamingo the right shape can be a little challenging. All right, and then I'll draw the legs on, just one straight leg and a little bent leg with just a couple, three lines for the legs, and then just kind of add some knobby knees in there. Nothing major. Okay, so now using a little bit bigger brush, I'm going to add some of the pink all over the flamingo. This is the uh, magenta color. And then once I get the magenta color all the way through, I'm gonna move back to the cotton candy color and just start to fill it in with lots of brush strokes. Just add it in and then go ahead and switch to the liner brush and now you can start adding in a little bit thinner brush strokes to make it look like feathers as well as using black to add the beak and start to outline parts of your flamingo. So you're not outlining the whole thing, you're just doing pieces here and there. And you can see how it's not the entire thing, just one side of the legs and then over the hibiscus. So just little bits, not the entire thing, and then just a couple of dots on the seagrass. All right, for the eye, just one solid black dot, and then we're gonna start adding some white details to the flamingo, and then one dot inside the eye of the black so that you can see the eye as well. And then of course some little um, birds in the sky with some white paint, and there you have it. And then the last step is just a one inch brush using black paint to give it a little bit of extra fun. So there's your flamingo. If you would like to know more, please visit us at texasartandsoul.com.